There it is, Rusho. Fuck you, it's piece of lizard. shit. It's the bird lizard that goes. I hate it. Dude, I'd love to have that thing as a mount. I'd ride that to work every day. It's just so obnoxious. Don't a, yeah, don't even need a car horn because that thing will be going off the entire ride there. I do not advocating. I do not advocate like surgically silencing your animal, but <laughs> like I would do that to a fucking that thing. Yeah, don't you like people used to do that for a while? Like they they would like surgically like remove their dog's bark. Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad. Dog That's a real bark. thing. Yeah, they got a bark. That's what if you know anybody who did that to their animal, they're assholes. <laughs> Some people say the same thing about declawing your cat. Yeah. yeah. We've only declawed the front paws right. of my cat, so the hind still got some, so she can like, right. you know, grip onto stuff to jump. And... Definitely don't declaw your cats when they're really old. No. Like anything, it, it's a lot harder to heal when it's older. Yep. I heard, uh, I've heard, like, getting your tonsils out when you're older sucks. I heard that story somewhere. Oh, yeah? Just because it, it takes so much longer to heal than when you're a kid. Nice, Commander Cody, thank you. Did you uh did you know that uh barcodes read the white space and not the black lines? Like barcode scanners? Oh yeah? Yeah. It's a fun fact I learned the other day. <laughs> you know, I always assumed it was the, the black lines that got read but, by the scanner, but it's but, the white space in between. Yeah, because the black lines would be the they break it up. The negative space. Yep, then. exactly. Black lines are the negative space, not the space being red. It's, which weirds me out. Oh, shit. Yep, it's like a wave. You can heal and. It's a lot of triangles. A lot of red, glowy triangles. Yeah. Uh, right now in Fargo, North Dakota, we're having a thunderstorm. Yeah, so it this is. is kind of uh, interesting. I'm just looking out the window and it's just strobing out there. Um, I hope it's actually oh, raining. Me too. Because we have been. It's been humid. <laughs> yeah, it's been kind of a humid drought. Humid and dry, which doesn't sound like it goes together, but it, has. it does. It sucks. And North Dakota is pretty prominently humid, like all summer long. Yeah. Oh yeah. Got that river right so, there. That's why I hated my my birthday is June seventeenth, and it was always like. Either humid and hot as balls, or thunderstorming. Yeah. Which sucks because, like, when you're a little kid, you you know you want to have birthday stuff outside and whatever. And oh, I killed my buddy. So only like one year it ever worked out, but it was still hot as balls. North Dakota, where you get every bit of every season, just in really weird quantities. Yeah, we don't yeah. normally talk about North Dakota on here, but I think holy shit, since nobody really that was a big one. I don't know knows exactly what North Dakota is like in the summertime. They can kind of picture it in every other month, though. It's just cold and desolate and flat. Summertime yeah. is either really, really nice, or really, really humid, or really, really dry. I really like fall here. Fall is probably fall is my favorite. Fall and then like the like three days of actual spring we get. Oh, don't hug me! I like spring a lot, too. Yeah. I hate spring. When I we get totally when we get like those three days of actual spring. I'm always Instead sick. Of just stinky wet bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm usually always sick when the spring happens. Yeah, my allergies kick up in spring. Mine kick up in winter, oddly. I get Yeah, there's there's a lot spring of and winter allergies. There's allergies every year. Every time of year. Winter really. just makes everything super dry and my nose right. is just crusty as hell. From being either outside when it's like blistering cold and you're Boogers just become solidified in your nose. Right. Like, huh? Yeah, that, that's the it allergies. Nosebleeds all the time in the winters because of dryness. Yep, same here. Yep. 
Yeah, I get some sweet swollen you sinuses look, sometimes. You can grab them. But yeah, I definitely have the seasonal allergies where it's where when everything's like fucking pollinating and fucking ev there's all that shit in the air. If there's shit in the air, I'll get allergic. My allergies are like full blown sick too. Yeah. They're not just like runny nose shit. Like my sinuses get so fucked, I get like completely incapacitated. Ah. For a couple days. Yeah. It's horrible. Just press the button. Because of that, my sense of smell is terrible. Got it. Took one turret down. It's got one more to go. So, Sean, you had an incident earlier last week, wasn't it? That you, like, were suspicious of, like, somebody at your your work that was, like, casing the joint? Oh, yeah. You should talk about that. I thought that was kind of interesting. It was shady because, uh, he just comes in the store and does a lap around the place just, like, eyeballing the uh, exits and shit like that, not even really looking at the products. Comes around, does finish the lap, and, like, asks us if we fix laptops, and he doesn't even have, like, the laptop on or anything like that. And he just had, like, a bunch of tattoos on, like, one side of his face only. So we called the cops. Um, me and the guy I was working with took turns, like, patrolling the block, so to speak, just keeping our eye on him. Cops got his description, and he kind of, like, uh, went into his car and hung out there for a really long time, and eventually, like, pulled out super, super slow, and then just went around to the side of the building and took one of the assigned parking spots for the, uh, people that live upstairs, because we're, like, on the first floor of the apartment complex. And... Yeah, they just, dude and his girlfriend just got out of the car and just started like wandering around the neighborhood and around the block really, just like looking around and, yeah, we didn't feel safe so we called the cops, let them know what was up, and we kept heavy objects near us, and <laughs> when the cops did finally show up, I went out to like, flag one of the cops down and he saw me, but then he had to like, before he, he could even talk or even get close to the vehicle, he like took off down the alleyway because I guess he saw something. Oh, really? Yeah, so I don't know. It's always yeah. interesting dealing because I deal with stuff like that a lot at the liquor store because people fucking steal shit all the time from there. Like, we had a dude last weekend, maybe? Like, it was after it happened, it was so obvious, but like, I didn't think about it right away. But it was like this dude came in. And then, like, right away, he asked if we had... Cause people do this all the time, too, though. He asked if we had, like, a bottle of Ace of Spades, which is Jay-Z's champagne that costs, like, $300 a bottle. So oh I was God. like, yeah, no, we don't have that. <laughs> but people do that all the time where they'll come the in. And would be crazy. The stuff they hear about in songs, you know, and then they come and ask. But anyway, and then he was like, oh, some, uh, like, cheap champagne. And I was like, you go from Ace of Spades to cheap champagne. That's weird. But, you know, I showed him around, and then, like, then he started, like, asking my coworker a bunch of questions, and, like, where something was, and then, like, I was like, okay. It, he kept asking questions, which was kind of annoying. And then, like, finally, like, I had went outside to smoke, and my coworker, I came back in, my coworker's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was just asking us a bunch of questions to, like, you know, just distract us to make us think he was, like, really looking at stuff. Because I'm pretty sure he just made off with a bottle of Fireball. And I was oh. like, fuck. Really? He's like, yeah. He, he asked where the Jaeg Jaegermeister was and asked about that and had a bunch of questions about that. And then he grabbed the Jaeg bottle and then a Fireball bottle. And he set the Fireball bottle Jump down at, the, like, the end of the aisle. And then set the Jaeg bottle back. And then he's like, a, a, he must have just went back and grabbed the Fireball and pocketed it. Oh it's just God. like, ugh. But it was afterwards, I was like, of course. He's, you know, purposely drawing attention to himself that he's looking around at stuff. And asking a bunch of questions to make yeah. us think he's really serious about it. And then fucking, boop, gone. And after it happens, it's just like, no shit. Well, but why, like, do, why do people just love Fireball so much? I don't know, dude. There was, before we remodeled, um, we had, like, the, the shelf with all the liqueurs was, like, right by the door, kind of. And there was a month where we actually, like, broke even on Fireball. 
because of how much got stolen. It's crazy. But yeah, Fireball gets stolen a lot. Uh, that's of most of the fucking like is it just cinnamon theft. And rum? What is it? It's it's uh, cinnamon whiskey. whiskey. Like if you could call it whiskey, even you know what I mean. Like it's not like right. Um, like of all the thefts I've stopped personally, which are quite a few at this point, because I've been there for like almost four years, is Fireball. Like it's even if it's something else they have something else there's fireball involved still it's crazy big thieving magnet <laughs> how many people do you have working at your ship two oh wow um there's it's usually so that like you know one of us will at least be around the front and then the other one will be you know could be walking around, pulling stuff forward, filling stuff, you know, being in the cooler, crushing boxes, doing a bunch of stuff. So it's like, so there's times where both of us are out there, but there's also times where none of us, or one of us is out there, you yeah. know? Um, the other time they like to strike, of course, is when we're busy, you know? Like, when both of us are occupied helping, like, checking people out, Right. That's when they obviously. It's the easiest time to get shit and get out. And I just saw a really cool lightning bolt. Really? Yeah. That's happening. It was real crinkly. Lots of, you know, lots of little, yeah, the little, little folds. Little yeah. Branches. Yeah. I like that about lightning. Yeah. Just now you just have to deal with these guys. That's all. A dude actually threatened to swing on me with a bottle of Fireball one time. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I was coming, I was coming back in from a smoke break, and uh, my one coworker was like, um, was like, like she had just, I forget, she said something to me. I forget what she said. And then she took off and chased after this dude. And then I turned around and ran out back, like through the back door, and cut him off. And uh, and he had a like a liter of fireball, which is the which is made out of glass. Oh my god! And he he was like sitting there, like looking at us all crazy, like he was drunk already. And he had the Sorry. bottle like cocked back, like he was gonna swing on us with it. And then when I was talking to him and had him distracted, my coworker like rushed in and grabbed it and rustled it out of his hands. It was some action shit. That sounds like it. So but yeah. Like you guys were like, uh, yeah, vigilantes or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I was all tactical and and ran out the back to cut him off, and she was fucking. I was distracted, and she fucking secured the package. <laughs> Same issue. Just... Oh, you can't it's, it's fucking, it's spooky though, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know when someone's fucking walking around like that, you know? I don't know if I could do that. That sounds like a fun job. It's, you get an adrenaline rush yeah, afterwards. Yeah, tree would. Yeah, it's fun. My job is pretty sedentary, just sitting at a desk. Yeah. Editing, doing whatever. Thankfully, we've never had a... I mean, the job's pretty boring throughout the week, but... Yeah, luckily. Get some back over that. Or you can do some of that, yeah. Unsurprisingly, the weekends is when all that shit happens. Yeah. The week? The weekends. Oh, yeah. The week's pretty boring. It's just your regulars and a few randos. Just go to the spider. Grab it. Grab it, okay. Back up, back up. Okay, grab him. Get the grab from the front. There we go. Nice. Way to go, Shadow. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. What it do? So, Adobe One, you're still trying to kill Grievous? Yep. This is Grievous. This What's is going on? I was distracted by our, our talks of <laughs> joint casing. 
Yeah. That's from, yep. There it is. The Killing Blow. Yahoo! They just rehashed that same boss. You just played him two different times. At least his character model looks like him. That doesn't always happen. True. I've seen some pretty atrocious character models. Yeah, they did a pretty good job in this. Mm -hmm. There you have it. I think we got that one done. Well, that we will be back with the next episode. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully, I think we're going to be fighting Grievous soon. Assumedly. Oh. All right, see you then. Bye. Bye, guys.